Am I the asshole? For not letting my nephew bring his service dog to my wedding? I am getting married in a few months to my fiancé. We have been planning our dream wedding for over a year, and everything is finally falling into place. However, there is one issue that has been causing quite a bit of controversy in our family. My nephew, James, has a service dog, Max, for his anxiety and panic attacks. Max is a well-trained and well-behaved dog, and he has been a great help to James over the years. However, I am severely allergic to dogs, to the point where I could have a severe reaction if I am around them for an extended period of time. This is something my family is well aware of. When we sent out the invitations for our wedding, we made it clear that there would be a strict no pets policy, due to my allergies. James and his parents approached us and asked if Max could be an exception, as he is a service dog and not just a pet. They assured us that Max would be on his best behavior, and that he would not cause any problems. As much as I understand the importance of Max to James, I had to say no. My wedding day is supposed to be one of the happiest days of my life, and I do not want to risk having a severe allergic reaction during the ceremony or reception. I explained this to James and his parents, and I offered to help find alternative accommodations for Max during the wedding. However, my decision has caused a lot of controversy in the family. Some of my relatives believe that I am being selfish and inconsiderate, while others understand my point of view and support my decision. James is understandably upset, and I feel terrible about the situation. So, am I the asshole? For not allowing my nephew to bring his service dog to my wedding? You have competing medical needs, that are incompatible. But, you have to go to your wedding, your nephew doesn't. So, not the asshole. Sorry, nephew, but in a showdown between your attendance and the bride being able to breath at her own wedding, the bride wins. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Being a service dog does not change fact that Max is still a dog. I understand this sucks for some members of the family, but it's risk you are with your right to mitigate. Service dog trainer here. Private functions are exempt from ADA which addresses public access rules and rights. This is comparable to choosing a private venue that lacks wheelchair access. Her reasoning is valid for a private affair, but honestly, she doesn't need to provide a reason. It feels like a focus-stealing sideshow. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You don't want to be rushed to the hospital in the middle of your wedding. Also, you're offering services for the service dog as well. Like does James know how serve your allergic is? Like I seen a kid who is allergic to peanuts had an allergic reaction when a teacher opened a bag of trail mix in a classroom. And they were on the opposite side of the room. I love all these people saying YTA. Jesus, it's her wedding. She doesn't want to spend it in the throes of an allergy attack. And she's in the wrong for that. Give me a break. Nah, op. He needs his service dog, you are allergic to dogs. Nobody's fault. Not sure how to tell you to deal with a crap set of circumstances. Is this an outdoor wedding? You family thinks James attending is more important than you breathing at your own wedding? Do they not realize allergies are protected by Ada too? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. However, My decision has caused a lot of controversy in the family. Some of my relatives believe that I am being selfish and inconsiderate. I'm sorry, your family thinks it's selfish to not want to suffer an allergic reaction on your wedding day? This isn't about the dog behaving properly, this is about your health. It's an unfortunate set of circumstances, and I do not envy you up, but it's your wedding and if you do not think you can handle Max being there, then that should be the end of it. Not the asshole. I read totally ready to condemn you based on the title. But allergies are no joke and, on your wedding, this is a no-brainer. You offered to work with them to find alternative accommodations. If they won't work with you, that's on them. If a person has such severe anxiety to need a service animal, maybe they should stay home anyway. It's not like he's a child. He's 18 yo.
BTW, congratulations I hope you have a wonderful wedding and marriage. Not the asshole. I don't know how anyone expected you to work around your allergies. It sucks all around. They want him to be an exception. To your allergies? Just like. Ask your allergies to take the day off. I guess needing your medical equipment but this is why mental health patients are counseled to have multiple coping mechanisms. You can't always have your best one. They don't know how this works. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If the only way that James can manage his anxiety and panic attacks is with a service dog, that is completely valid. However, his valid medical need doesn't mean he gets to ignore your valid medical need not to be exposed to a severe allergen. As someone with allergies, not the asshole, I can't imagine having a reaction on my own wedding just because someone insisted on bringing a dog to it. I really can't imagine someone being okay with you having an allergic reaction just to have your cousin at it, WTF is wrong with your family? Don't they care about you? Last time I had an attack I vomited of how many times I sneezed, and I passed out after taking my medicine, how would anyone subject you to something like that on your wedding? So up I hear you got married, how was it? I have no idea. I was so doped up on drugs I only vaguely remember putting on my dress, and well then there was the whole hospital trip because wouldn't you know I was t exaggerating when I said I was severely allergic, so yeah. I really wouldn't know. Not the asshole. Bride's actual health trumps any guests, as the bride is essential to the wedding and the guest is not. Not the asshole. This whole situation sucks, it really does, but you should be able to enjoy your wedding without fear of a severe allergic reaction. I think you should try to accommodate some other plans for your nephew's anxiety, but if he can't function without his service dog, he may unfortunately have to skip your wedding. It's not fair to him, but this is your wedding and it's not fair to ask you to risk a severe allergic reaction. Not the asshole dealing with allergies is not fun. You deserve to be comfortable on your wedding day. Don't let your family push you into this. He's an 18 year old guy. When I was 18, anything that got me out of attending a family wedding was great news my dog can't go so I can't go. Yeah wait, that's so sad, I have to miss a huge family event and go hang out with my friends all day? How will I ever get over it? Not the asshole. Info if you're this allergic, then presumably you don't spend time around your nephew and his dog at so you can't possibly be very close. And if that's the case, why does anyone care so much if he's at your wedding? Not the asshole. It's reasonable that you don't want to worry about possibly dying on your wedding day. I think your presence is more important than your nephews at your wedding. Anyone who thinks otherwise should just stay home. Not the asshole it's unfortunate, but the day isn't about James, literally at all, but it is entirely about you. It doesn't even fall under not fair for you to have to risk an allergic reaction by compromising, it's ridiculous for them to ask you to just put up with it in the first place.